हेलो एवरीबॉडी सो टुडे विल स्टार्ट द सेकंड लेसन इन द कलेक्शन ऑफ एक्सक्रीटरी सिस्टम सो द सेकंड लेसन इज ह्यूमन एक्सक्रीटरी सिस्टम सो इट्स जस्ट इन ब्रीफ अबाउट द ह्यूमन एक्सक्रीटरी सिस्टम एंड द वेरियस ऑर्गन्स एंड इट्स स्ट्रक्चर सो इफ यू इफ यू हैव फॉरगटन माई नेम इज इफ्तार खान एंड सो दिस इज ब्रीफली अबाउट मी so i am currently studying in aims in 6th semester and i got 10th rank in aims 2013 and don't follow and don't forget to follow me on un academy this is my address don't forget to follow me on un academy so we'll start with the basics of human excretory system and what all organs constitute the human excretory system so we have kidney ureter urinary bladder and urethra i'll be explaining in brief about all these org- organs in the upcoming slides so let us take a look at this thing so it it is a simple diagram of all the organs present in the human excretory system so these two are the kidneys and these are the adrenal glands above it it's not a part of the excretory system uh from the kidneys uh, the medulla the outer part of it is called cortex the inner part is medulla the medulla joins into the pelvis and this tubular structure joining the kidney to the urinary bladder the bag like structure the inverted pear like structure is called ureter and this and it continues to the urinary bladder where the urine is stored till it is voided through the urethra so urethra a part of the urethra has the last part of the urethra is the external urethral meatus out of from which the urine is excreted of out of her body so these are the renal veins and renal artery so this is basically a highly simplified diagram of the human excretory system so let's get to the point and we'll start with the most important organ that is kidney so kidney is the most i'll say kidney is the most important organ of the human excretory system just because it is the it is involved in the process of excretion and urine formation so what happens here so it's basically the site where the urine is from from blood <coughs> so it's basically a bean shaped organ and it's a retroperitoneal organ this is very important it's a retroperitoneal organ which means it is not cov- it's covered by the peritoneal covering only on the anterior side only on its ventral side and not on the dorsal side so it's a retroperitoneal organ retro means behind and peritoneal means relating to the peritoneum so it's a retroperitoneal organ and the extent is from t12 that's the 12th thoracic vertebra to l3 that's the third lumbar vertebra so t12 to l3 and the retroperitoneal organ so and the dimensions are it's 10 to 12 cm in length 5 to 7 cm in width 2 to 3 cm thick so the best way to remember is it keeps on dividing by 2 so 12 divided by 2 is 6 6 divided by 2 is 3 so that's the way to remember it and the weight is 120 to 170 grams these are all ncert figures so you need to remember it so now we'll we'll see the three layers the three coverings of the kidney and from outside coming to inside so these are the protective covering of kidney from outside to the inside these are renal fascia that is consisting of irregular collagen fiber so it's a fibrous tissue having collagen fibers which protects the kidney 
and then we have renal adipose tissue which is white adipose tissue and then the renal capsule which is regular collagen fibers so it's like a sandwich of adipose tissue between two layers of collagen fibers so that's an important thing and it helps in protecting the kidney from any damage so now we'll come to the structure of kidney so this is a very important part the structure of kidney is as such that it is divided into two parts that's the cortex which is the outer darker and the thinner part and medulla the inner thick layer the part of medulla entering the cortex is called the medullary pyramid and the part of cortex entering into the medulla is called the renal column humbertini the at inner tip of the pyramid open is present the renal papillae the renal papillae open into 10 to 16 may minor calyces and e and they further open into major calyces which are 2 to 3 in number which form to join the renal pelvis which extends to the ureter so i'll use this di diagram and i think it will help you in understanding it better so the outermost layer this is the renal capsule which is the protective covering and this outer darker part which is not very prominent in this diagram the thinner outer part is the cortex and the part with the renal columns the medullary pyramids renal columns of bertini and the medullary pyramids is the medulla so these conical structures or these triangular structures as you can see these are the medullary pyramids which have renal papillae at their end so they have renal papillae at their end these renal papillae join to form minor calyces which join to form major calyces and then the renal pelvis is seen so that is about it and it extends into the ureter so that's briefly about the kidney now we'll talk just in brief about the ureter so it's basically a tubular structure which extends from the kidney retroperitoneal organ which originating from the kidney and it extends to the urinary bladder and smooth muscle to form peristalsis to help in the movement of urine so it's not a very important organ for the exam point of view and hardly any question is asked from this now we have the urinary bladder so as we saw in the diagram that this is the bag like structure where the urine is stored before getting before getting excreted or before getting voided so it collects urine and store until it is voided it it has a three layer smooth muscle wall called the detrusor muscle it has detrusor muscle it also has an involuntary internal sphincter so it opens to the urethra and from where the urine is excreted what you need to know is the urine urinary bladder is the trigone trigone is a basically triangular structure in the in the urinary bladder which is formed of two ureteral orifices and the internal urethral orifice so it is a triangular structure and it is very sensitive to the expansion and it is highly sensitive to the expansion and can detect any change in it so it can send the signal to the brain for the voiding of urine and as this signal becomes stronger the bladder continues to fill so finally the urethra uh, urethra is the part which has external urethral meatus at its end and it is shorter in female that is 4 cm and larger in male that is 5, 15 cm it has an external that is the voluntary sphincter and an internal sphincter formed by the urinary bladder which is non voluntary in male it contains three parts p m p prostatic membranous and penile penile is the longest part and prostate has prostate around it and it's present inside the penis the pen penile one is present in inside the penis so that's about it thank you for watching this video and do follow me on un academy thank you